Hello, I'm Tom Glunt, the director of Strafe. In Strafe, you choose a gun at the beginning of the game that will dictate your playstyle for most of it. Shotgun for close range, machine gun for mid, and railgun for long range. But with each weapon, you'll have the opportunity throughout the game to modify its performance as well as rebuild the gun into a potential of eight diverse alternatives. Four primary and four secondary. Let's take a look at the shotgun secondaries. The flat grenade is a standard secondary for the shotgun. It explodes on contact and covers a large area that shreds up enemies within its range. But you have to be careful, because every grenade has a few pieces of shrapnel that'll be unpredictable and travel pretty far. The Cluster Buster is awesome. It's a two-stage secondary that requires one pull of the trigger to shoot, and another to activate it. When activated, the Cluster Bomb opens and shoots four grenades towards the ground. But if you fail to activate its second stage, the grenade explosion will be small and weak. It's a blast to use, and the higher you activate it, the more ground it covers. The Sulfur Tetrafluoride Grenade, or the SF4 for short, is great for temporarily blocking paths. It explodes, creating a cloud that grows over time and then quickly dissipates. It doesn't show as well as the other secondaries, but it's great when your back is to an open door. It explodes on contact, but it can also be activated in the air by pulling the trigger a second time. And that feature is great if you want to get high. The C4 brick is a versatile but challenging secondary to use. It shoots from your gun and sticks to the first thing it hits. Then when it takes damage, it explodes. It's very simple in concept, but when other secondaries explode on contact, this takes a lot more skill to use. You can activate it by shooting it with the shotgun. It can be shot out of the air, it can be used as a mine, or placed on enemies to create a suicide bomber. You're able to shoot as many as you like, so you can create chains of destruction, and it's one of the most flexible secondaries we have to create interesting situations. This is only one video of six showcasing the weapon upgrades of Strafe. If you'd like to stay up to date with the development, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks.